Termites attack more than five million homes every year and cause over five billion dollars in property damage. Don't let this happen to your home. Call me today at Seas Pest Control and let's get your house protected. I'm gonna solve your termite problems. I guarantee it. Now you got a friend in the pest control business, Steve's Pest Control. Being here helps us to focus on what really matters. It's one place we can all agree on. Our experience here on Sunday touches our lives all week long. Forum Christian Church, connecting, growing, living. Closed captioning provided by Rockbridge Preschool and bringyourchildtowork.com, bringing parents and children together. The weather has put us behind probably about a month. Uh, Mother Nature's unpredictable but we keep telling ourselves not to stress about the things that we can't control. A couple weeks ago, we had just gotten the walls poured, looked like this house was moving in the right direction. Had a lot of things going on. We were getting really geared up to be able to start working on the framing of this house shortly after Christmas. That was the whole goal for us. Well, as you can tell around us, snow hit, and that really stopped the whole framing production and actually stop the last part of the concrete process. We're waiting for not just the snow to go away but for the ground to thaw and by thaw we mean as deep as 16 to 18 inches we have to make sure there's no frost before we pour the slab which is the floor in the basement. Once the basement floor is poured then we can get back on track and start framing but as of right now we're on a holding pattern we're probably we expect to have a little delay from weather, but we're going on a total of probably three or four weeks now that we haven't been able to really do anything because we're waiting on concrete. What we're trying to do to help with this thaw process so we can pour this next week is we're actually going to broom all the snow off of here, shovel as much out as we can. That way when it warms up, it's actually penetrating the soil here. It's really getting deep, deep down there and allowing it to thaw quicker. What was most important to John and Toby was placement. Where is the sun going to be in the evening? That was totally hands down the reason for the placement of this house. So as we looked, sun sets in the west, which is to the left of me. We knew that their back porch had to be tilted away from the west. So what we did is turn the house ever so slightly and positioned it and nestled it right inside the woods there. Also with the topography, uh, how we got a little low spot after we got our excavator out here, we realized we need to move more up on top of this hill to make it more uh, Two things, make sure we don't have any water issues, and the second thing is a little more affordable as far as amount of dirt work and concrete we're gonna need to get this house built in budget. Well, at John and Toby's house, we needed to get the electrical panel set and kind of come up with an idea where it would be on the house. The electrical panel that'll be attached to the house will feed the whole house with all the electrical to serve all their electrical needs. We called Boone Electric Cooperative and talked to them about getting the electrical set up out here, especially the temporary electrical. In the start of the home building process, you either have to have temporary electric, which you'll see over here to the right of me, or you have to have some sort of generator or battery powered equipment. In this case, we called Boone Electric Cooperative, had them come out. The next closest transformer is about 200 feet away from us right here. Boone Electric Cooperative came out and said, Cole, we need to get a transformer closer to your station. We'd like to be within about 100 feet of the house location, at least. So we came up with a plan to follow this tree line and have it trenched right over here to this right side of me and move the transformer here. That way we're about 75 feet away from the house. That also gives us our temporary electric to be able to work on this home through the whole process. Once we get all the electrical ran and the house built, we'll set the panel here, we'll connect the two together, it'll be seamless, and it's also hidden and out of the way so it's not an eyesore for the lot. In the beginning, the project was going, what I felt was like pretty smooth. Things were, things were falling in place, we were making decisions, we are rocking and rolling, getting placement of the house. Felt like everything was very smooth and we were working really well with John and Toby. Yeah, I thought uh, there'd be a lot more decisions uh, that had to be made by now. Obviously with the weather, uh, we haven't had to make as many decisions as fast as uh, we normally would have. 
but uh, we have made a few decisions. Um, and then when it got to the subcontracting part or the concrete part, uh, there became um, delays, if you will, not really knowing time schedules. And that's really w why we started this process, is so we could be in most control of all aspects of the build. Um, and, and that is working out for the most part. The biggest problem has obviously been the weather. And we've talked and kept in communication with John and Toby, and they know it's not anybody's fault. They know it's just the weather, and but they're very anxious to get this house going. Uh, I've also reassured them on the timetable that at this point in the game, this week, I'm not real worried about being able to finish by the end of June. Um, you know, if it goes two months more like this, obviously we'll be in a little bit of trouble. But uh, it, just a few of the delays have been an issue here lately, and uh, but I know it's something we'll work through. We need this snow to go away. That slime is where everything else comes off of. Underneath the concrete, there's actually about an extra eight to 12 inches of what they call a span footer under here. It's 12, but I'd say the wind chill factor is probably minus 12. Now he's trying to come up with a way to make this non-conventional system work within their budget. So we may have some new developments as time goes by, uh, whether it be a lagoon or a a drip line irrigation system, lateral system. It's just kind of funny how when you're in the home building process that there's always some sort of change, always something you have to adapt to. You can do as much preparing as you want, but it's like um, in the end, you're, you're kind of at the mercy of others here and there. And so it's, uh, it can be challenging, but it's, it's fun. <laughs>